today I'm going to get into Kodak Black and his mother. This video came out, which I'm going to play in just a moment, where he's dancing with his mother. But the video gets a little bit worse because he actually grabs his mother on the ass. Before he put his hand around her waist and then grabbed her on her ass, he went to go kiss her. The mother seemed to be very uncomfortable. Some people feel like the internet is overreacting. Let me go ahead and play the full video. that video to be highly inappropriate and very abnormal behavior between a mother and a son. It also makes me think about his sexual assault case that he has in South Carolina and it makes me believe that he is absolutely guilty. He is sick and needs help. This brought back memories to this story where a son and mother were in love and in a relationship with each other and although they have been permitted from the courts to being together they still chose to do so. I'm gonna go ahead and play that video now. Who, were, who made the first approach was actually me. Um, what happened was we were we were hanging out and you know just talking, you know, just laughing. And I looked at her and she looked at me and I just I kissed her. Here's a real kiss. It was it had feelings behind it. It I, I it had a spark in that. Ever since then, it just you know it just stayed. Honestly, I really didn't think we would. We were both consenting adults. If if uh, it comes down to it, you know, it's just like the gays. They're, they're, you know, as long as they're over 18, everything's fine. You know what I mean? So I thought, you know, I'm 18, she's 8, you know, she's, well, I'm 19. I actually came down when I was 19. Um, but, you know, she's an adult, I'm an adult, I can make my own decisions. I never thought it would blow up into something like this. Honestly, if it wasn't that strong, we wouldn't be together right now. We're, we're, we are together, but we're not. We can't really see each other, but in my heart, I know that we're still together. And I, I still love with all my heart. If I, honestly, I had the opportunity to leave, leave all this behind during the courts and move back to Utah, but I stayed. I had every chance I had, you know, after 19 years, you know, all the questions, everything got to me and I, I had a plane ticket and I was about to leave, but I couldn't. Every single time I thought about it, I, I kept on thinking about her and I couldn't leave. I couldn't, it wasn't fair. I feel at peace when I'm with her. When I'm with her, I'm happy. When I'm away from her, I'm all depressed. It's, if, to me, it's worth, if it's worth, you know, going through all this, it's worth staying. Even if, sometimes the easy way isn't the best way out. Sometimes we have to make that life decision that's gonna change and affect everything, but when it comes to it, it's worth it. You know, some people say it's disgusting, it's gross, she's your mom, you know, that's your son, you should be doing that. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't affect me at all because they, if they were in my situation or if they were to find out that somebody they loved were actually related to them, then they'd be saying the exact opposite. They don't know the situation. The way the courts put it out, the way the newspaper put it out was, you know, the second I turned 18, that's when she did it. That's when we did it. No, it was, it was totally when I was 19 and we, you know, I moved down here. It, you don't plan stuff like this. It happens. I can't plan who I fall in love with. I can't. I, be, I, can, I can tell a girl on the street, I'm going to fall in love with you. It won't happen because it's not, it, it might happen, but you can't plan on love, it just happens. For me, it's not even about patience, it's about commitment. I don't, if I'm committed to something, I finish it through. I mean, it's, that's the type of person I am. I've always fin finished everything I started, and I, you know, when it comes down to it, if, if I love her that much, and I'm crazy enough to stay in Clovis for it, I'm crazy enough to face all the courts for it, then waiting a little bit of time to have the rest of my life be happy, then I'm willing to do that. Honestly, I see us living inside a mobile home, renting out our houses, and living life. True love can do anything. You know, it's about this is this whole entire case is about whether I have the right to love somebody. And I, I sure as hell have the right to love Monica. You can't tell me who to love, who not to love. It's just people are butting in the wrong, you know, the wrong issue. She's never had anybody give her a rose, or um, and she's never got really anything from me because I haven't really been able to. 
is I'm trying to get a job, but it's hard now because of the courts. Nobody wants to hire me, and if I could, I, I'd give her everything she wants. But if I can give her this rose and it'll grow, and she'll always remember me by it, then that's what will happen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.